Ryan Wood Number prepping their new head football coach, Devontae Holloman. Leading the Panthers against Brad Bowles, entering year five with That's Porter Gow. Panthers driving down first here, and Will Watson on the quarterback keeper in for the touchdown from about seven yards out. Then a little bit later here, it's 7 7 now, and the Cyclones, Nolan Schumann, finds Wes Freeman waiting for the ball right there. And Freeman into the end zone. Porter Gow now up 14 to 7 with a minute left, but not so fast. Uh, time for a few more plays and Pinewood driving down Will Watson weaving some tackles and finds Daniel Wiggins open in stride and into the end zone with less than 30 seconds left for the touchdown. PAT would be good and that does it. We got a tie ball game. Pinewood prep and Porter Goud end in a 14-14 tie. And it was a new journey for Johnny Waters and a new era now at Northwood Academy taking on Dorchester Academy. All right, this one, um, that's on me. I wasn't ready for that one because it was the first play of the game and Number Northwood. Austin, Austin Grady, Grady aired it out and got it to Ty Washington there for the touchdown. Ty Big Washington play, nobody on him. Wide open 70-yard touchdown. touchdown. Talk about a statement to open it up. A few minutes later, Grady goes deep again, this time to Aiden Hogan. For the touchdown, another Chargers touchdown, and they're not afraid to throw the ball this year. Like to see that. A few minutes later, Dorchester Academy, though they would drive down. They get on the board, Waylon Gruber on the quarterback keeper from three yards out. But the Chargers, they would top it off with another Grady to Hogan connection here to close it out. Northwood Academy, an impressive win tonight. They win 20 to 8. And a new face for First Baptist, Jamal Birch taking on the Cross Trojans. Cross wasting no time out here tonight. Carmelo Jones takes the handoff here, getting outside and goes down that far sideline and all the way for the Trojans touchdown. It's uh, getting six on the board there later. Trojans again, Tyler Mungin though, back to pass, throws it over the middle, but this ball gonna be picked off by Canes. Russell Lee there for the turnover for First Baptist and then Zacoby Riley, the First Baptist quarterback, Steps up into the pocket here. He'll find Walker Traxler waiting on it. Traxler gets First Baptist on the board, but Cross, they would come away with the win thanks to a two-point two conversion. They win it 8-6. to six. And St. John's Christian facing Colleton Prep. Skis a two-way runners-up last year. The Warhawks driving down early here. And Cole Davis on the quarterback keeper and in for six. Scoring for Colleton Prep first. Later, Davis looking again down in Cavaliers territory, but a big tackle for loss there from St. John's. A little bit later, St. John's, they would get the ball back, but couldn't convert. They're back to punt here, and that snap just over the punter's head out of the back of the end zone. So Colleton Prep, they'll take it. It's a safety as Colleton Prep. They win tonight 16-7. to